Hello, how's everyone doing today? Today we're going to be talking about Linux dollar sign PS1, which is an environment variable. So PS1 is a special environment variable Unix and Unix-like operating systems, such as Linux and Mac OS. It defines the prompt that is displayed in the terminal or console when you start a new shell. The prompt is the text that appears on the screen when you enter commands in the terminal. It typically includes information such as the working directory, the username, the host name, and other information that can be customized. By setting the value of PS1, you can customize the appearance of the prompt to suit your preferences or workflow. For example, you include colors, add a timestamp, or display other relevant information. On the right side is basically how it's set up. We have the actual prompt, and those colors correlate to what those slashes do. So slash u is the user, slash h is the host name, slash w is the working directory, which is in their home folder, as you can see the tilde, right? And then you have the slash dollar sign, which that means is if you're a special user, um, like, like a super user or maybe a root, um, and then also if you're a regular user, you can get dollar, uh, the dollar sign, right? Um, as you can see here, uh, we have the little uh, quotation marks um, to encase that, and then the PS1 equals, and that's how you make a variable um, in Linux. And then we have uh, more different uh, types of prompt strings. So we have PS1, which is a primary prompt that is displayed. Like when you guys go in the shell, this is what you guys see. Um, and then if you see PS2, uh, this is the secondary prompt string. So like if your command isn't finished, you'll see like a greater than sign. Uh, PS3 is basically when you use the select command in a shell script, and this is what you'll get. And then PS4 is pretty much what's displayed when you do enable debugging mode uh, made in a shell script. Uh, so this can actually change if you all these uh, prompt strings, you can like customize them. But um, just uh, make sure that uh, you save your original one if you want, like copy and paste like the actual like variable information if you have to ever go back or you forget. Um, but it shouldn't be too much of a big deal, but it's always good to do that, right? Um, but yeah, so this is the great thing about it. So if you guys um, ever uh, wonder what those extra ones are, that's what they're, they're for. And I just wanted to add that on here for you guys. And um, these are the colors. So these colors right here, as you can see, um, on, on the on the left side, um, you can pick any of them. Um, and then you have to reset the color because if you don't, like you see what I have on the right side, it colors the whole thing. So um, what you can do if you want to do like specific stuff, you put like example color red on the left side, you put the word in the middle, and then after the word, you put a reset, uh, a reset code, color code, and then it will reset it for you so you can pick a specific item that you want to color. And then you can also do background colors. So you can set the whole background color if you want or on specific text or whatever you want. It's very customizable, however you want to do it. And then on the left side, you can see these are the options. So this is what you guys saw on the prompt screen. Stream. So like slash W for the working directory, slash U for the users. So there's a lot of different formats and you can switch it up how you want. Um, it doesn't really make too much of a difference. All right, now we're on the terminal and we're gonna be checking our variable. So for PS1, we're gonna do PS1. As you can see, uh, this is how it's spelled out and everything, like slash G, slash H, slash W. If I want to change it, I can do export PS1 equals. And then I can do slash, slash U. Actually, you need to put a uh, little uh, quotation. So we have slash U at slash h and then if i do just that as you can see change my prompt so ps1 slash u let's say if i don't want anything and i, I don't want like the date in there i can just add the date there i forgot to make this a capital which is my fault you guys so as you can see how here how it changed if i do that it just changes it if i make it closer you see how it changes it like that way and then I can do colon slash W for the working directory and then slash dollar sign. As you can see now, it just changed. It has the slash U at slash H and then um, the slash uh, W for the working directory. And I was going to show you, like, if you're doing a command, right, and you don't finish, let's say if I'm doing this, hello, and then I press enter, that's PS2. As you can see, PS2 is with the greater than sign. That's the prompt for it. And for me, if I finish it, as you can see, it's finished. When I said echo, hello, and then I said hello underneath. 
And then if I cat um, dollar, actually not cat, if I echo dollar sign PS2, as you can see, it's a great event. The three, as you can see, there's um, nothing. PS4, you see the plus. So um, if I did set minus, minus X, as you can see here, it's a lot of debugging information. And if I, let me just take that back out. If I do that back out, it's out. But as you can see how there's a plus on the on the um, left side, that's uh, basically PS4. Um, you can also uh, see your environment variable. So we can do NV, as we can see here. These are all your environment variables. Like the different colors and all the different stuff that you have. Like as you can see, PS1's here. That's one of the environment variables. So there's a lot. I added this one by accident. That one doesn't do anything, so I gotta delete that. Um, but I thought it was pretty cool. Um, and that's pretty much it. Um, thank you guys for watching, um, and have a great day.